On this episode, we're going to look at barefoot walking. It sounds really simple. Your feet are your foundation of your base, and it's really important to have good foot mechanics, and that will affect your mechanics for everything. So if you if you don't want to have knee pain, back pain, hip pain, and ankle injuries, then it's really important to look at your base, look at your foundation of movement, start from there and improve up through your body to stay pain free and healthy for the rest of your life. So we looked at the arch before and we've looked at foot position, we've looked at having the toe on the ground in order to maintain a, a good arch and good foot, foot position. Now we're going to look at barefoot walking. So your feet should be relatively forward, um, a slight turnout is, is normal. What you don't want to have is an, a very far turnout and what we call a duck walk. So that's not good biomechanics and that's going to potentially cause a bit too much external rotation in your hip which will predispose you to a few injuries. So we want our feet relatively facing forward or a slight turnout. From this position with walking we want to take a fairly wide stance so our weight has to be distributed onto one leg and then the heel should contact the floor first and then the rest of the foot. Then our weight transfers onto that leg and onto that hip. And then the other foot takes a fairly wide stance, foot down and then weight transfers over that hip. So you're going slightly to the side, so weight is equally transferred over that limb and then the other foot. And you're going to repeat that motion. So the idea of doing this is, it sounds really simple, but we often forget how to walk. We've been given this body and we learn how to walk when we're young. But through overuse and poor use, we can potentially pick up bad habits. So a lot of what I've seen is I saw somebody at the clinic the other day. They had a foot operation and they were wearing a cast for several weeks. And since wearing that cast, because they had their leg externally rotated and holding it in this type of position, they've created that habitual pattern of movement. So now their foot is in this position and they tend to do this kind of movement when they're walking, even though they don't realize. Duck walks, which are feet out, also really common. So let's have a look at your motion, look at where, how much internal external rotation you have, how much your foot is pointing out when you walk, and whether you're going heel, nice long stride, and heel to foot. If you do this barefoot, it will help wake up some of the sensory receptors in your feet, which may be affected by wearing footwear, trainers, all those types of things. So that's why doing it barefoot is very important in terms of waking up those nerves, waking up those receptors, and enabling you to respond better to the external environment. So try it on the grass and see how you get on.